Can you still date a man who have all the qualities but lack just one important thing? another video on this lovely Sunday as you can see by the title we are doing a Q&A if you follow me on all social media which you should be doing well, then you will know that I said that I was going to do a Q&A and for y'all to ask me some questions and I'll answer them so as promised that's what I'm doing if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe to this channel for all my new people that are here for my old people that are here, welcome back, babe. Dog just jumped straight up here. Say what's up, since you up here. Before I was rudely interrupted, if you are new here, thank you so much. If you are old here, welcome back, babes. How are y'all? If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, become a babe, and subscribe to this channel. You won't regret it, I promise. I was not playing. I'm finna be consistent with this. You are my priority. Or whatever. Oh, no. Let's get into these questions. Let's see what y'all asked. Okay? I wrote them all down. First question is, how do you get your skin so smooth and soft? Y'all gonna get mad at this answer. I don't even really do nothing, to be honest. All I do is wash my face with soap and water. Dove soap and water. That's it. I make it a priority to wash my face at night whenever I take my shower and stuff. And then I wash my face in the morning, too. I just got, I got some good jeans. I got some good jeans. I ain't gonna stunt. And... How long did it take for you and Jarvis to get serious? I don't know if y'all know this story or not. Me and Jarvis met on Facebook and everything. So from the time that he messaged me on Facebook to where we are today, it did take a while for us to get serious because I really wasn't into, you know, him and all this stuff. But I, I'm, I'm going to have to tell y'all that another time. I'm going to have to bring him on here so he could tell y'all the story one time it took us like i don't even know y'all it took a while for us to get serious like it took a little minute for us to get serious we ain't just straight out the back just start you know kicking. like we was friends and everything before we became who we are today but your boy been wanting him some meat <laughs> how have you adjusted to the move i moved from louisiana to texas uh it is a bigger city and everything it did not take no time for me to adjust to nothing i was ready like i had it all set and planned to move and everything um i was just hoping that it'll be god's plan also for me to move and evidently it was so i think it's when you young like this then you accommodate to anything basically so we have adjusted very well we working we got jobs and everything like Anthony is in school and stuff, and he loves every moment of it. Like, he has adjusted so well also. So, y'all, I ain't even finna lie to y'all. tell y'all that I, I want to go home. I do not want to go home. I don't ever want to go home. <laughs> I don't ever want to go home, Louisiana. Next question is, how are you the cutest person ever? What's the secret? I, I love you, too. <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I don't know. Jeans, you know. I guess good genetics, you know. I don't know how I'm the cutest person that would think, you know. When do you and Jarvis plan on getting married? If I had a dollar for every time that I heard this question, I would not never have to go to work again. Everybody asks me this question. When do you and Jarvis plan on getting married? I do not know when me and Jarvis plan on getting married. Right now, me and Jarvis are building up to that point of our life. And we are just enjoying each other right now. Yes, I understand that you can enjoy each other while you're married and everything, but I don't know what me and Jarvis plan on getting married. I don't know the future. I don't know when he's going to get down on one knee and be like, hey, babe, will you marry me? Like, I, I don't know. So, and he's not in no rush. I'm not in no rush, y'all. We are not rushing it. We are just enjoying each other, okay? Next question. Why you ain't letting these people know you not their friend? 
for real because you only have one friend. Public service announcement. Ty Taylor is my best friend, okay? We, we can have other friends. All these people that support me on this channel are my friends. They love me and I love them, okay? Okay. If you had to pick between a mansion and a penthouse, which one would you choose and why? I don't know. I don't know. That one's a good question. I think I'm a penthouse type of person. Right now. I'm going to say this right now. Right now, if I had to choose between a mansion and a penthouse, I would say a penthouse. Because it's just us. Like, it's just me, Jarvis, Monk, and our two little dogs. I would definitely choose a penthouse too. Because it's on the highest floor. So, like, I love to be up. I don't know if it's because I'm short or whatever. But I love to be up, like, tall. So, I would probably choose a penthouse. Cause now, my life later on in the future, maybe a mansion. Depending, though. Because, like, when you see the scary movies and stuff, they got too much space going on. It's too, it's, it's too many places for people to hide. Mm-mm. No, I ain't about that life right there. If, but if I had to choose right now, it'll definitely be a penthouse. It'll be a penthouse. Somebody said, no question here. Just want to say how proud, of, how proud I am of you. Thank you so much. I have come a long ways. I ain't even finna sit here and be like, I did it all by myself. Y'all, if it wasn't for the good Lord, then, hey, who knows where I would be. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all feel that way. That was your shopping moment right there. I got another question that says, are you going to start your own practice with physical therapy? I have switched some stuff up. I don't necessarily want to be a physical therapist anymore. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say I don't want to be a physical therapist anymore. Because, y'all, I want to be everything. Like, I find myself looking up so much stuff. Because I just want to go and do it. I am still in that part of my life to where I know what I want, but I don't know what I want. Like, I want to just do everything. I am a learner. So I just want to learn about everything. I want to do everything. And I guess that's a good thing. I'm not pushing towards that anymore. Uh, my goals now that I have, first of all, is to get my PhD. Giving myself about a year of sit out working and everything. And then I'm going back to school and I'm getting my PhD because I've got to be a doctor. Like, I, I owe myself this much to of it. So... Right now, my goal is earning up towards my doctorate degree, but in exercise physiology. I have found this love for cardiac rehab. So, right now, I'm working in cardiac rehab as an exercise physiologist, and I am gaining that real-world experience, I guess you can say, as far as that is concerned. I plan on being a college professor. I'll tell y'all why in another video, why I want to be a college professor. Because I don't want this video to be too long. But I, I want to be a college professor, y'all. So I don't even think I will own my own physical therapy practice. Uh, I do plan on, you know, opening some, another kind of business. But not physical therapy, sorry. Even though I do know a lot, but sorry. Do you want Monk to have a sibling? I do. I do. I do want Monk to have a sibling. As of right now, like I told y'all, me and Jarvis are just enjoying each other. We're enjoying, you know, just having one kid. Because, baby, once you get two kids in the game, some stuff change. So, I'm not rushing the process or anything like that on having more children. But, y'all, y'all got to understand. I was 16 when I had this baby. I'm 25 now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, not, I'm just enjoying myself. <laughs> it feeds itself. It clothes itself. <laughs> but I do want other kids, though. I do want them to have a sibling, yes. And besides, Jarvis, Jarvis don't have any kids, so kids of his own, like blood kids of his own. So, yeah, I want to give him some children. He gonna be, he gonna make some pretty babies. Hmm. Where do you want to be or see yourself in the next five years? So, in the next five years, like I told y'all, hopefully I'll be like, Either towards the end of my PhD or like done, depending on how fast paced everything goes. I think I'd be a cool teacher. What is your dream vacation? So I love the water. I love a good beach. So my dream vacation would literally be on the beach somewhere. Just laying there in the sand, not having to hear anything, not having to worry about anything, like just chilling. 
that would be my dream vacation like just chilling I don't even I'm not even one of those people that like to eat when I go on vacation like that like I don't care for all this stuff I just love I love the water I love water and I love to be outside in the sand and stuff like that but I really want to go somewhere like uh Dubai I really want to go to Dubai I told Jobs, we, we, we getting us a passport. We're going to go to Dubai. So, be looking out for a, a vacation vlog with that, baby. Because we're going to Dubai. I don't care. Can you still date a man who have all the qualities but lack just one important thing? This is the last question, y'all. Okay. I don't know if you were saying, like, me, can I date a man like that? Or if can a woman in general date? somebody like that and in my opinion you gotta be able to vibe with that person you gotta be able to like like tend to that person in a way that can't nobody else tend to them which is why they dating you if you get what i'm saying like you gotta be able to vibe with that person so they could be cute they can have the best body they can you know have the best style and all this stuff but if that person lack that emotional connection which is so important to me then you cannot date that person. Like, in my opinion, you can't date that person. You you are not equal. Like, y'all, y'all can't y'all can't continue forward. Now, I will say this. If the person is trainable and teachable, then maybe you could try to work things out or whatever. So like you could try to tell that person, okay. Next time I'm talking to you, listen to me, hear me out, you know, get on the emotional level with me or whatever like that. And, you know, the next time y'all do it or whatever, y'all not do it. <laughs> not do it, do it. But next time y'all communicate and stuff like that and then, you know, he is emotional or, you know, he is he's supporting you as far as, you know, your feelings and all this stuff, then yes yes okay because at that point that person is teachable like they can you can keep on showing them what you want you can train somebody at that point how to love you and if they're willing to be teachable though because if they're not willing eh, nope nope it ain't it ain't even no going back to it it just really depends on what you feel like is important like if you i don't know if you feel like you can't deal with that person in that manner or something like that because they lack that much or something then you're not gonna be able to date that person if you feel like you can and they can be taught these things and stuff like that then go for it live your best life honey so that was it y'all thank y'all so much for watching this q a video if y'all want a part two then just let me know if y'all want me to go into detail on something then i will make a part two just so i can go into details on some things i hope that y'all have subscribed to me by now because i mean i would love to have y'all part of my channel okay Re help me reach my goals okay the goal is to get to a thousand subscribers right now we have 655 i believe so, we on the right track, y'all. We are almost there. And I thank y'all so much for watching me and tuning in to me every Sunday. Because y'all be, y'all be on it every Sunday. But thank y'all so much. I will see y'all in the next video. Comment down below what you think it should be. Bye.